क्रेडिट इंटीजर फंक्शन ओके सो इट जस्ट टेक फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन दैट राइट अन अदर फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स है इट मे टेक इट लेट्स नाइस क्वेश्चन ओके टू इन टू दिस इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ एक्सर इज जी आई एफ एफ ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन टू इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स प्लस टू ओके वी नीड टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन हेयर फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन हेयर ओके सो नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन आई नीड टू फाइंड यर राइट सो बेसिकली अगेन इट इज इट वुड बी डिटेन दैट दिस ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन इज वॉट इट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स डिनोट्स एनी वैल्यू ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर लेस देन और इक्वल टू एक्स ओके दिस वुड बी रिटर्न यूर फाइन एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड टोल्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन यूर फाइन ना सो हाउ डू ब्रेक इट गाइज ओके सो आई टोल्ड यू इनिशियली ओनली दैट एनी रैशनल नंबर एक्स इज ऑलवेज आई प्लस एफ वेर आई इज एनी इंटीजर एफ इज अ फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट इट इज ऑलवेज बिटवीन जीरो टू वन okay and then greatest integer fun then greatest integer uh, function of x is called i so by putting these values here what i'll get see guys i'll get 2i square is equal to 5 in place of x i'll put i plus f right so that's how you solve such kind of question okay now 2i square is equal to 5i plus 5f plus 2 correct right okay now 2i square हाँ माइनस फाइव आई ओके इज इक्वल टू फाइव आई प्लस फाइव एफ प्लस टू सो बेसिकली वॉट आई एम डूइंग हेयर आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू पुट ऑल द आईज वैल्यू ऑन वन साइड और ऑल द एफ वैल्यू ऑन द अदर साइड हेयर फाइन सो बेसिकली नाउ दिस एफ नॉट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दिस एफ गाइज ओके वट इज दिस एफ हेयर एफ विल ऑलवेज लाइव बिटवीन वन टू जीरो लेट्स पुट दैट लिमिट राइट सो एफ विल ऑलवेज लाइव बिटवीन वन टू जीरो जीरो इंक्लूडेड वन एक्सक्लूडेड Fine. Now, where does five f will lie? So five f will lie from five f to zero. Where does five f plus two lie? Add to both sides. It will lie between seven to two. And now I know that five f plus two is what it is. Two i square minus five i actually. That means two i square minus five i will lie. Ah, uh, sorry. Will be. Less than seven and will be greater than five. Greater than equal to sorry two. Greater than equal to two. Yes. So now if if I check this here, so basically, uh, what I'm what what I'll be getting here is one more step. I can do it right before I can just take this i out. Actually, it becomes what two i minus five is less than seven. Yes. Now, if you observe this part, okay. So basically, i is an integer, right? And this value has to be less than seven. If you can just put on this, put on some value, put few values here to check the pattern, guys. You'll come to know that because this has to be less than seven. So i, I, I cannot put first of all, I cannot put i as one, right? I cannot put i as one because at one, it will be like two minus five is minus three, right? So i will be negative. So I can't make it negative because this value has to lie between. Two and seven, so I can't put i one. Similarly, I can't put i two also, because if I put i two again, two into two is four. Four minus five will be negative. Between two to seven, there lies no negative number, right? Okay, that was a great information. Okay, so now after one two, now we'll come to three, right? Is is three okay? So i is not equal to one and two. Fine. Now, if I put i equal to three here, i three is fine. If I put three. Two into three six minus five is one, so one into three is three. So three is between two and seven, right? So i three perfectly fine. Can I put i is equal to four? So can I put i is equal to four? If I try to put i four here, two into four is eight. Eight minus five is three. Three into four is twelve. That means four is going out of the range of two and seven. Okay, that means I cannot take i four, and similarly I cannot take any higher value of i also because all these values will be with Out of the range of two and seven, right? So basically, I have only one answer. That is, i is equal to three. So i is equal to three is the only answer. So we have only one solution for this question. Okay. So such a nice question. It is right. Very nice question. Okay. Only one solution we have. Great. Now, take up one more question, guys. 
so again this is a very good question on the uh, of uh, the algebra right uh, functions actually we need to find the domain of this function okay in this question what we do we need to find the domain of this function okay so just all of you can try this for at least 5 minutes 7 minutes right it's a good question finding domain of this function okay there are clear a lot of concepts actually fine just try it guys uh, says right the question says that f of x is equal to log of x point to way basis point to x cube plus log x cube by basis point to and a log of point zero zero one six x plus thirty six and base point two. This is fourth root. We need to find the domain of this function. Domain of this function, right? Let's start this. Whole, start of this. See how to approach it, right? So see how do you approach actually this question here? So I know that for getting domain in the function, for getting the domain, right? the whatever value that function should satisfy so basically again whenever you have this confusion right so always remember that function is a machine whatever goes inside is the input whatever come outside is the output whatever value you are putting inside input that is the value of x and whenever whatever output is that it is fx okay so basically i'm i need to restrict the values so i need to find what values of x all this function can take so Obviously, x has got lot of lot of restrictions here because I know that if it is <laughs> if it is a uh, log of uh, let's say b base a, it is on log b base a on, is only defined when b is positive, a is positive, and a is not equal to one. Correct. Similarly, uh, under root any function under root x is only defined. It can only take the values x more than equal to zero. Get any value zero, right? These are restrictions here. Uh, we'll try to figure out what what these restrictions we can uh, what we can do with this kind of restrictions here. Fine. Now let's start off, guys. Look. So what we'll do now? Look. So we can see here this x is log log x base point two log x base point two everywhere, right? So that log x base point two, I'll take it as t. Okay, that log x base point two. I'll take it as t. Once I take log x base point to as t, understand this point. Once I take log x base point to as t, so what we can actually understand from here is that okay, this part will actually become t cube, right? Okay, so let me write here. Now f x is equal to under root. This part will become t cube, obviously. Now here, by the property of law, this 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 three is here. Three was the Whole log cube, so I can't do anything with it, right? But here, this three is the argument cube, that is x cube. This three will come here, and this becomes three, and we assume this is t. This is three t, okay? And then we can also write this as so guys, uh, this log of basis point two here. So I can just break in two parts, right? Basically, log of uh point zero zero one six basis point two, and plus log of x base is point two. Right, by the property of log, this is property of log, right? Whenever we have like log of uh, base x a plus a a uh, a into b, it can be written as log of a base x plus a base b base x. Okay, so internal multiplication goes to external addition in log, right? Okay, so now if I see this here, so look at this point. So basically, this is this this become like this, right? So this is what. So you can observe this, right? This is what is point zero zero one six. So log of zero point zero zero one six base point two. So log of this is base point two. This is point two raised to four. I can observe this. This four will come here. Four log of base point two point two base and argument. This becomes actually four only. This whole part is one. Property of log log of a base a is equal to one. Correct. This part actually becomes one now. So this basically I can write I write like this. Okay, this part is one. Okay, and this this part is basically four. So this we got as four now. So four and this is t. So this is four here. Whole is four and this whole I assumed as t actually. Okay. So log of uh, I I can write here I assumed initially log of x uh, base point two I assumed as t. Now what I can see this guys. So now this f x will finally become what. So after all these calculations I can write my f x as what. T cube plus three T into four plus T plus this thirty six here plus this thirty six. 
okay right now for this to be defined this has to be uh, greater than equal to 0 right so for this to be defined this has to be greater than equal to 0 so let's solve it can just uh, uh, for fx to be defined any function under root under root any function has to be greater than equal to 0 then that function will be defined actually fine so let's do this now okay now see here so basically i can write this as like uh, for this to be defined t cube plus 12t plus 3t square plus 36 is greater than or equal to 0 if i want to factorize it i can factorize it like this okay it's like uh, t uh, just from here i just as you can see i can take t plus 12 here right if i take 3 common it actually becomes t plus 12 okay uh, 3 common then t square plus 12 and this from here you can take t square as common t is common right if i take t common here it becomes t square plus 12 if i take 3 common it becomes t square plus 12 that is greater than equal to 0 now it solves to t square plus 12 into t plus 3 is greater than equal to 0 correct right so if t square plus 12 is greater than equal to 0 that basically means what always now t square is always a positive number t square is always a positive number and plus 12 will further make it positive right this is always positive always positive right so basically if it is always positive this with this inequality i can just divide this this side so that basically makes that t plus 3 should be greater than equal to 0 that means t should be greater than equal to minus 3 once t is greater than equal to minus 3 now right, like log of uh, x base 0.2 is t so log of x base 0.2 is greater than equal to minus 3 okay now obviously i'll use this property of log right obviously this property of log i'll use like log of uh, b base a is equal to x that means b is equal to a raised to x that's actually differential log right but be careful here guys okay now let me just explain this uh, this point through graph okay it's more clear through graph right i know that whenever the base of uh, log is less than one right so log of x base a graph whenever a is less than one okay the graph actually turns like this right you know this now I want now basically whenever log of I can just write like okay log of x base 2 is equal to y and y is always greater than or equal to minus 3 so right look at this point right let's say minus uh, this is a point of y equal to minus 3 let's say okay and corresponding you will get some point of x here right so whenever y is greater understand this point guys whenever y is greater than minus 3 then talking about this region actually okay so this region here so actually you can see whatever was, whatever was the value of x, x value is limited between here and 0. Okay, so x value is limited between this point and 0, right? So actually what will happen now? So if you write x ray greater than equal to 0 0.2 raised to minus 3, it would be wrong. Because what is 0 0.2 raised to minus 3 guys? You can just solve it now. x is greater than equal to 125. This is wrong. Why? Because 125 means it is in this region. The graph is not in this region, right? This is a reverse region actually, right? This is a reverse region. That's why while solving this inequality, while solving this inequality, I can just turn the point, right? I can just turn the point. Okay. So log, uh, this basically when we write like this, so I can just write like, okay, x is less than equal to 0 0.2 raised to minus 3. That will actually restrict the value of log. So in normal sign, it is negative. So when we are doing that, uh, is in the property actually so sign will get reversed right but that's the exact logic behind logic behind this okay the value of x is now restricted in this region because graph is now lying in this region now okay if you write more than 125 this is x is less than or equal to what it's actually 1 by 5 no 1 by 5 raised to minus 3 x is less than or equal to what 5 raised to minus 1 into minus 3 therefore therefore x is less than or equal to 125 Okay, so while writing the answer of this question, I should write the answer as, I should write the answer as x, uh, x is obviously argument, right? So x is argument, x always has to be positive. That means x always has to be zero, greater than zero, right? Obviously, yeah. that means basically x belongs to this range, what? Uh, zero to 125, yes, zero to 125. 125 included so square bracket zero not included so small bracket right this is the answer 
that ends up a fantastic question this one question will clear four or five concepts right okay so this is a very very good question just try to uh, keep this question in your master notes actually while revising revising before mocks or cat or zat right you can just revise these questions okay and just go so all this logic will be cleared right whatever we have done okay hello guys we'll continue in the next next video thank you for watching and also also this combat guys okay so this a uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so there are easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like Away, uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT, so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level, right? But this from now onwards, the questions will be of higher, higher level, okay? And uh, all the LRD sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually, giving this is a fun because after every question you get, you get, get, get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question. The faster you answer, the better your the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually, those one hour test is a fun. And actually, if you look at the cat, you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and test before cat, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this. I think, okay. So rank one, two, three, one year subscription. I think around twenty thousand. Or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent. So it's a great prizes are on offer here. Okay, so get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday. Give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.